All right, this is my uh, vapor separator tank that failed on my 2011 225 E-Tech. And we're going to take it apart and try to figure out what happened. I had water going into my fuel, and I had fuel going into my water. There's a apparently a water comes in one of these ports and goes out the other, and it cools the fuel. Apparently, something came apart in that the water part of it, and. Uh, Allow the fuel and the water to mix. Hang on, gotta get my quarter inch ratchet. Thought I had everything. <clears throat> like my socks, blue. <clears throat> some here in the water line looks like a float holding the fuel pump to it.
forks screw into the coil so Inside of there, there's some corrosion in there. Same with that one. This is where your water apparently goes through, and it, your fuel is inside of there. Cools your fuel. And I got some corrosion right here where it looks like it's seats. Yeah. Can't see inside of here, but. O-rings look good. I can't see, but there's a... This is a... I forget what they call this, but it's tapered here. And it's also tapered inside of here. These things got a lot of corrosion in them. I'm guessing that they, the water came out of here because you can feel some nicks in this where corrosion that ate this part of the fitting up. And it probably wasn't sealing good there. And water was coming out and mixing inside that tank. And we had water and fuel cocktail corrosion here That's my guess. I mean, the o rings look good, but there's corrosion inside of here where this mates to inside of here. I know you can't see it, but my guess is there's enough corrosion built up that it caused the water to leak past there.
Yep, that's that. Uh, that must be the flow to control your vent that's on top. being in there, it's like I got some Not that it matters. I'm gonna be using this thing again. to me that them things screwed in farther when I had it out. How much threads we got there? Threads are 
flush with this. About where it was at when it was inside there. That one went past. That's past flush here. It's actually kind of a little bit. Now it's just a little too. It's just the corrosion was holding it up where I couldn't do it by hand. That could be a problem. That seems like when I pulled these things out originally, they weren't in there that far. But this, I think it had to go all the way in in order to seal inside of there. This thing may have been screwed up from the factory. better that time, but I tell you what, if you ever take one of these things apart, you need to keep an eye on that. Well, there you go.